In order to record the signal from the crankshaft position sensor, a test lead with a back probe pin is connected to input number 5 of the USB Autoscope 4. The back probe pin is inserted under the crankshaft sensor connector seal so that it is firmly connected to the signal wire contact tip without damaging its insulation. If access to the electrical connector of the crankshaft position sensor is very difficult, then the same signal can be taken from the opposite end of the wire, at the connector for the engine control unit. But in this case, a connector pinout diagram or wiring schematic is needed in order to find out which terminal of the control unit connector carries the signal from the crankshaft position sensor. There are several types of crankshaft position sensors. They differ in the type of sensing element and in the type of output signal. 1. The inductive, sometimes called variable reluctance sensor, or VRS for short, type sensor. It generates a signal similar to a sine wave. The amplitude and frequency of the signal depends on the specific model of the sensor, the air gap between the sensor and the reluctor, and on the crankshaft speed. The script automatically conditions the signal for analysis. The output signal of such sensors is often referred to as an analog signal and is suitable for working with the CSS script. The Hall effect sensors and magnetoresistive sensors. These generate a square wave or digital on-off type signal. The lower signal level is always close to zero volt and the upper level depends on the control unit or the sensor itself. The upper level or signal high is often close to five volts these signals are also suitable for working with the CSS script. This is how the crankshaft position sensor signal looks like at idle. The value of the output voltage will depend on the speed of the engine crankshaft, since it directly affects the speed of the tooth entering the magnetic field of the sensor and the speed of its exit from it. The shape of the output signal of the inductive type crankshaft position sensor depends mainly on the location of the teeth on the reluctor wheel, on their size and shape. The signal amplitude depends, amongst other things, on the distance between the sensor's tip and the reluctor wheel. The closer the tip to the teeth, the stronger the change in magnetic flux, and hence the bigger the output voltage. This allows to detect a misaligned reluctor wheel. Improper installation may cause the reluctor wheel not to be centered correctly in the crankshaft, and then some teeth will get closer to the sensor tip than others. The teeth getting closer will generate a stronger signal than those further away, so some teeth will show a bigger amplitude. The same principle, the distance between sensor and reluctor affects signal strength, allows to detect bent or missing teeth and reluctor runout. Due to the changes in amplitude caused by the distance between the reluctor and the sensor, reluctor runout can be detected, as well as missing and or bent teeth. In addition, the amplitude of the signal also depends on the specific model of the sensor, since the strength of the magnetic field of the built-in permanent magnet, the configuration of the core, the parameters of the winding, and others matter. Sensors with a digital on-off type output signal are based on a measuring element designed in the form of a microcircuit. Regardless of the type of sensing element, such sensors do not respond to the rate of change in the magnetic flux, but to its magnitude. Since the voltage at the output of the sensor can take only one of two states, its signal has a rectangular shape and a fixed amplitude. The pulse repetition rate depends on the engine speed. The amplitude does not change in this case. The duty cycle of the signal depends almost entirely on the shape of the teeth of the reluctor disc. On some cars, the sensors are used with a monostable multivibrator circuitry. The pulses of the output signal of these sensors remain at the same duration. Only the duration of the interval between pulses changes.